Okay. So it seems radical, deranged feminist, and Captain Marvel star Brie Larson had some pretty inflammatory things to say about white men. So inflammatory that she had to go out of her way to let us know, not once. Am I saying that I hate white dudes? No, not I'm not. twice. And I'm also saying I don't hate white dudes. But three times. And for the third time, I don't hate white dudes. So, let's examine what she said about white critics in particular. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. Well, to this, let me say this, Bree. A 40-year-old white critic does not need to know what you need from him. His job is not to please actors, but to inform the public when actors such as yourself suck so that we don't waste our hard-earned money going to see your garbage movies. In other words, Bree, critiques were not made for you. Now, since you brought it up, let's talk about A Wrinkle in Time. The movie A Wrinkle in Time centers around a mixed-race girl by the name of Meg Murray. Murray, which is an Irish name, and the movie explains that by, have, by because her father is a white man. So uh, it's important to Bree that she know how a mixed race person feels about this movie. I want to know what that film meant to women of color, to biracial women, to teen women of color, to teens that are biracial. Okay, now let's talk about the book. In the book, Meg was not mixed race. Her father was still Murray. And her mother was described as creamy skin and fiery red hair. The mixed race aspect of the movie was only added in the name of forced diversity. So now let's talk about Captain Marvel. If women of color are so important to you, Brie Larson, then please tell me, how can you feel okay with playing Captain Marvel when the character, Carol Danvers, was actually Miss Marvel and the first female Captain Marvel was a black woman by the name of Monica Rambeau? I guess whitewashing a character is fine and dandy when Brie Larson does it, right? Okay, sure. Now, you have ended my relationship with the MCU, but that's okay. I like the direction DC has been moving in. And remember, to truly be a character of great strength, you need great strength of character. I'm out.